court commits you to the custody of the Commissioner of Corrections for a period of 270 months. That's 270. Former Minneapolis police officer Derek Chauvin sentenced to 22 and a half years behind bars today for the murder of George Floyd. Chauvin's fate handed down today a little more than a year after he knelt on the neck of George Floyd for nine and a half minutes. Today, George Floyd's family gave emotional and powerful messages in court, and we also heard from Chauvin himself for the first time. We have team coverage on what unfolded inside the courtroom and how San Diegans are reacting tonight. Our Phil Blower starts us off with a message from Floyd's family. Well, Kathleen, Derek Chauvin was dressed in a light gray suit and tie and white shirt. He spoke briefly before his sentence was handed down. Now, under Minnesota law, Chauvin will have to serve two-thirds of his sentence or about 15 years, and he'll not be eligible for supervised release for the remaining seven and a half years. The judge said the sentence was not based on emotion or public opinion. He wanted to acknowledge the deep and tremendous pain that all the families have been feeling, especially the Floyd family. Floyd's loved ones wanted the maximum sentence for the 45-year-old defendant. Many of them addressing the court today. Floyd's sister said in a statement, the sentence shows that matters of police brutality are being taken seriously. Here's what Derek Chauvin had to say, as well as reaction from Floyd's relatives. I uh, do want to give my condolences to the Floyd family. I beg for justice for my brother, some type of accountability. The treatment that I thought that everybody should receive, it's just life, you know, you can't get that back. I will celebrate a guilty conviction on a police officer that killed a black man because far too many times we see them kill us and get right away with it. Derek Chauvin's mom, Carolyn Palente, told her son that uh, he always, she always believed in his innocence and she'll never waver from it. Chauvin's post-verdict motion for a new trial was denied by the judge just hours before the hearing today. Kathleen? All right, Phil.